from the Bleacher Report. Three takeaways from the Browns' Week 4 loss to the Falcons. Number one, uh, leaning on the run game has to be a priority. Uh, mentioned a, a even split, 50-50 split between passing and running in that loss to the Falcons. Defense needs another pass rusher. Or they need to get their two top ones back. And uh, number three, Kevin Stefanski needs to alter his coaching strategy. Uh, let's welcome in Eddie McDonald from Dog Pound Daily. Um, Eddie, when you when you look at those, so which of those you you thinking? Uh, what are you buying? What are you selling there with those three ideas? So the run game, I can get behind. Uh, 50, I don't need to see Jacoby Brissett throw the ball thirty-five times in a game. Uh, now, if he is somehow as successful as he was in the first or in the second and third week, okay, then maybe there's you know warrant for it. And I get not wanting to rush all the time. Uh, save Chubb, save Hunt for the, the year. But Chubb averages about anywhere from 20 to 23 touches a game and then uh, on the ground. And then Hunt gets uh, roughly about 11 or 12. And, uh, you know, so that's, you know, the 35 there. Every now and then, you know, we had an Njoku run yesterday for whatever reason. Uh, but the run game definitely has to uh, be the benefactor there because that is their bread and butter. Uh, that's how they wear on teams. I thought yesterday – uh, at the end of the first half, I was like, oh, here's where the Browns take control in the second half, especially if they get a three and out. They did. Uh, then the running game just wasn't there. Uh, Kevin Stefanski dialed up some short pass, and the screen game was there, but at the same time it wasn't because there was constant pressure on Brissett when that was happening, uh, so it's hard to jump off the ball there. But absolutely need another pass rusher. First off, like you said, need to get the first two back, Miles um, Garrett, Jadavion Young Clowney, both dealing with injuries. Uh, hopefully we see one or both of them this week because we're going to need them against a uh, vaunted uh, Chargers passing attack. And with that, we need another depth piece because without them, you know, we have young guys and they should be good in the future. But that's not now. We we had, couldn't expect, you know, a bunch of rookies and younger players to step up this week, like, you know, and be Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney because no one can be those two. Uh, so getting another pass rusher is paramount. I just don't know if that is an edge rusher or defensive tackle. Uh, hopefully Andrew Barry thinks of something sometime soon because we need it. Yeah, and um, again, most of the people that are still out there are still out there for a reason. They're just not as effective as they had been. Um, what about Coach Stefanski altering his coaching style? I, your coaching style is kind okay, of your coaching it. style. You, you... Sure, that's that's why I want to touch on why I want to get the first two out of the way then get back to Stefanski. He's not going to alter what he does. He is going to be an aggressive coach. Uh, his players buy into that. And Joku said today that he uh, didn't mind going forward on fourth and three yesterday. Uh, but it's about execution. And uh, Brissett just threw the ball away on that fourth down, on the fourth and goal. Um, they have to execute there. Nick Chubb was wide open. I don't know how easy that is for Brissett to see that barreling down the sideline like he was uh, looking for something. Uh, but Chubb was there. The play was there. Uh, maybe not exactly how they needed it to go. But Stefanski is not going to alter. You know, if he feels strongly enough that the, his team can get two, three yards or a yard on the QB sneak that Brissett's been doing, he's going to continue to go for that. And I know that the adage is take the points. Uh, but and, and a lot of people I've seen on Twitter say, oh, if you have taken the three points, we would at least went to overtime and had a chance to win. That's not necessarily true because, you know, the Falcons could have went out and scored the next 21 points for all we know. We don't know how that would have played out. Uh, it played out how it did, and the Browns had chances to win. Uh and they didn't. And as the fancy said, they all have to do better. And I expect them to do better this week. Whether that results in a win or a loss, I don't know. Uh, but they do have to do better. 